Hello everyone, this is Mohammed, and welcome to another tutorial on the AI Assistant. So in this tutorial, I just wanted to talk through about the latest development of the plugin. So previously, I had to retype some of these commonly used prompts manually, and this could be several characters. So rather than always trying to type, I decided to introduce a feature where I'll let the user um, manage or create or customize the prompts and have some sort of a collection and these collections could be specific to a project or it could be specific to some of the common um, tasks that we, that was run uh, by the user so for example let's say if I wanted to select all the um, walls within the model I could have even instead of typing um, I would have just selected uh, select walls and that could be my input text and this way I would just run the query and it will have the log of the interaction of the user and it, it, it says for example select walls and the system would say like you know the task has been completed because it has basically selected the models um, this is a very simple prompt so that's fine whereas these sometimes these prompts get lengthy so um, over time some of these repetitive um, uh, some of these repetitive chat uh, could be potentially being broken down into these transcript or group of lines um, and it could eventually store this information back into the database and that database would have um, entities like the system or the user um, details and with the collection of the timestamp that could help to brief further or enhance or understand what are some of the commonly used uh, prompts okay so for example another example to this like this was very simple like select walls um, whereas uh, sometimes this might get uh, uh, a bit more complex so for instance let's look into parameters so I've, I've pre-written this prompt here already which I saved it so it, it will let this user uh, add as many as prompts uh, needed so for example here um, it says that select all the walls which contains generic 300 mm wall and set the parameter which is the comments parameter to 300 so for example if I select this wall I can see that there is a comment parameter here similarly if I select this it says like there is uh, the parameter is empty and it has 200 mm walls okay so now if I just eventually go here and then if I search for the pr if I run this prompt so it says the task has been completed so now when I uh, select the wall it has set the parameter 200 here similarly there is another value that it has set so similarly these prompts can be further broken down for organizing some of these um, other day-to-day -day tasks or the commands um, that can eventually help um, the user to perform these activities all right so i hope you find this education entertaining and thank you for watching